everybody. Welcome to the last video for this week, the Nord Hagen Beach, um, which is where we're currently at right now in the Fallout 4 universe. Just a few announcements before we get underway. Just a friendly reminder um, for audio purposes. There is no music or radio as that will cause copyright infringement issues, so we just turn it off. Um, but that said, if you hear a radio, it's a sound effects. I will be quick to turn off said radios as quickly as I can. Otherwise, it's a sound effects. I need it to be able to hear enemies coming and, you know, animals too um, that aren't very friendly. Um, or it might be friendly. We don't know until they are um, in front of us. Uh, but there is that. Also, because this was the week off last week um, for Slayer's Guild for Adventuring, because we put the episodes out the following week, so that way you guys have time to get caught up before the next episode releases. Um, fun little way to kind of keep up with the episodes when we're starting to record the next one. Um, next week's videos. So we're going to have Oberlin Station, which should be a really fun one. It's a very popular settlement to build because it's one of the earlier on settlements you can build. And Jamaica Plain. Now with that said, so we'll only have two settlements left. Why am I not doing the Boston Airport, the Pridwin, or the Castle? Um, that is related and could be affected. Um, oop, didn't want that. Um, could be affected by choices in the game um, for the endings and stuff. If you don't ever plan to finish the game main story-wise, then you could do whatever. But eventually you're going to have to get through the uh, glowing sea and dealing with all of that. Um, we will only have Warwick Homestead and Somerville Place left um, if... I can squeeze in one more settlement video, which is the Red Rocket, where um, Strong is residing. Uh, I will try to do it that weekend, because it shouldn't take very long to build something there. But you never know. Maybe we'll finish it this month and finish the Companions next month, hopefully. But otherwise, uh, we'll only have, after next week, three settlements left, um, and we'll return back into the companion and main story walkthrough. So if you guys are not checking out the main story and companion walkthrough for Fallout 4, which is age-restricted because of the in-game content, I try not to be, you know, potty mouth. But unfortunately, when you have Kate and other individuals... <laughs> that are potty mouthers or the enemies that are potty mouthers um you can't really control that much of the game um so yeah it is age restricted for that reason alone um but not these videos since i'm just showing you guys how to build stuff and we're not really encountering enemies and stuff unless they decide to stop by um and i always try to blur slash cover up the words for uh naughty words right you we just do your angry cat noise. Well, I mean, it's not really you, but it could be you when you're angry. But with that said, um, oop, we didn't want that yet. Um, we are going to be having a couple episodes this upcoming week, depending on if players um, attended sessions this past two days. <laughs> We're going to do that. And then we also have Freshen Up Energy. We're affiliated with, so go check them out, Legion 10. Okay, today... We are doing Nordhagen Beach. Um, you can see the Pridwin from here. So it's one of the settlements that they might send you to first to get them um, allied with the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, this is a great point. Um, I showed the quest line in uh, the main story because you need to do it in order to do the companion quest for Paladin Dance. But this would be a great um, skip walking, you know, a long trip, like cut the trip in half-ish with Nordhagen Beach to go to Fort Strong, um, which has super mutants. So obviously this place needs defending. Um, you kind of come up to this settlement. Um, there's a couple kids uh, in the game. Um, but the mom 
asks you to like help the dad out and rescue the dad so there is that um i think i sent one settler here so that's why we don't have a recruitment beacon or siren just yet but i had to be very creative in getting the power source to uh why can't i look at it the water purifier um i guess i have to be closer uh i also built this little um thing for uh the um settlers in case i send more over here um we have a little watchtower for them too so they're aware but basically uh defense tower up there really important because they usually come along this road very rarely do they come from the sea um the garden is already pre-made um however i would sneak in a couple mute fruits well a few mute fruits because that's going to be better for the um farmers so we're gonna just do if we can and it's so hard because it's literally on the coastal so like finding soil that you can plant these plants is like what is gardening near the ocean then we have the fusion generator um definitely would recommend um getting a siren but before we do that i want to do a little store a little trade shop i would build this for jerseys that way um if you have a settler that arrives, you, you can earn caps from this place. This chemistry station is already here. Um, I left the pallet here so it wasn't weird trying to get in here. Um, we're going to get the fertilizer. Um, and they already have four beds there, so that's why I added um, seven. Yes, yeah, seven to the... Um, the large uh, housing. But this is how I would build, um, minus the uh, error of my ways. Um, you know what? I don't know why I didn't do this last time. Um, but this is how I would build it for the most part. So let's go ahead. Um, the only things I would change. Oh no, we don't want a recruitment. We want... There we go. We want a siren in case they decide to attack. But um, the other thing too, even though I don't think I can build them right now. Unless can I? Well, I have the material. Do I really want to use it is the question. Probably not right now, because I don't have very much, and I need some for next week's uh, building settlements, which I only have five more, so I need to scour for some materials in the meantime while these videos are being released, um, <laughs> and uh, not doing 50 million things. But, um, you know what? Well... Well, nah, we'll wait to do that. Um, but I would suggest definitely doing is putting like a few spotlights, like I'll just show you guys where to put them. I would put one about here. That way um, you can connect it to the generator and it will go to the siren or something like that. Um, the other thing I would do is like put it, put a few around here, but also... Um, I would do a few heavy laser turrets because they provide more um, defenses than uh, your normal laser turret. Um, eventually, you may want um, these kinds of turrets that provide 15, and I have a lot of material <laughs> to do it, except I don't have the perk for it. So if you have the perk, I would recommend that for at least this area only. Um, but with that said, Mew, stop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little guide for uh, 
Nord Hagen Beach. I know there wasn't very much, but it's just some of it was like, I don't want to change a lot of it because there's not really a lot of space to do a lot of change. So we will leave it here, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.